Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 8 of the IKEA Wars. And, or oh, Flatback Face Off, whatever you prefer. What do you prefer, Mr. Kiriyoff? That's a question. Oh, uh, uh. I prefer nuking Gus <laughs> into the floor. It's not even That's an answer, ultimate, but I'll take it. I'll take my it. ultimate preference. My ultimate preference is nukes. Pfft. Sweden remains the host. Piss off. Everywhere's starving. The, the, the empire is collapsed into a fucking piss hole of horridness. So to it speak. It feels horrid that Gus can just now do whatever he likes with World Congress. It's terrible. Yeah, we're going to stop that. Look at this. We're going to advance on him with like a load of wonderful units. And pikemen. And, 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 and more cannon. And he can't, he can't possibly deny us. He cannot deny. He cannot deny what we're about to give him. Canterbury, you really need to grow. You've got no food, though, have you, Canterbury? Neither is Helm's Deep. So Helm's Deep, you can have food. We must spread the food wealth around the Empire. Every time I see that fort burning, it just oh. it upsets me. Oh, what's this about? Oh, he must have heard my uh, my suggestion of going around the back. No, mm, one of his tell. spies overheard us. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to work. Canterbury is a city of worth. No, anyway, Canterbury won't be taken out by those two units. No way. No way. There's no way that could be destroyed. No chance. The crossbowmen can't fire over mountains because they're not longbowmen. We're just trying to plan the unit deployment for when the uh, musket men arrive here because they can go straight there. There, then we've got like three cannon, but he's moved forward stupidly. <gasps> Trash the fort. He abs. Oh no, he's got two. Oh my god, this is a dirty little attack. Once again, he proves himself to be duplicitous and dishonourable. I mean, you got to ask yourself, what kind of man does that? What kind of man goes around the back? Yeah, you, you either come head on, like a, a manly man would, an overly manly man, I'll have you know. Oh, shit off. I could have attacked. <laughs> We what is this road construction? Go I, I ask you, what is that? <laughs> it's like a, a little bloody racing track or something they've built. Well done. Yeah, good, use of, to enter, good use to of the resources. Entertain the people. The old, uh, the old NASCAR there. <laughs> mm, Gustavo's dropping trading posts like it's no tomorrow, trying to solve his gold problems. Uh, I'm going to guess it's not working, oh, he Gustavo. Off. He ran off. Look, what a bitch. What a biatch. I'm surprised. What a biatch. What an absolute wank stain. Uh, get a bank. Right, so we've got a lot of pikemen now. Oh, well, we'll have, we've got a we've got one. What am I talking about? I think uh, we've got some more being built. That's what I'm trying to say. We've got another cannon that's been built in Canterbury, which is fine. Canterbury can build a pikeman. Uh, the cannon can stay for the moment just to protect it. Well, just to get rid of any units he sends in. Okay. I think we're going to get ready for a big attack shortly. The big push. The big push. The old pikeman can take out his gash horse units. Helsinki can fall. Well, so he likes it. I don't think he's going to like it, bloke. No, I don't think he is. So his World Congress bullshit plays off when he's losing his cities. I mean, it's such a cheap method of going about things. Yeah, but we're talking about Gustavo here, so, I mean, obviously everything's cheap. This is true. He is the cheapest of the cheap. Banks all round. Massive cash. Can we, is it the Leaning Tower of Pisa we can build when we've got the printing press? Ooh, we can build a national college. I don't know. Embargo England? Don't be stupid. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Embargo us against who? 
ourselves. You're not allowed to trade with yourself. Hmm. What a complete waste. More production to Helm's Deep. Wonderful. Okay. Deep is on the war footing. Alright. Let's lay some hurt down on these guys. I think next turn we're gonna push forward. We've got three, uh, two musket, uh, no, three musket men, pikemen, three cannon, well, four potentially, with this cannon here. That should be enough. To, that that should be enough to take Helsinki easily, surely. The prophet's gonna have to take a long way. He's gonna have to spend forty days and forty nights in the desert. <laughs> Let's get all the way around. Oh dear. Oh dear. The yes, no. Yes, no, no, no. It worked. It worked. We got. We repelled the 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 uh, the ban on incense. So we're happy again. Look. Oh yeah. my god. Oh yeah. Trade route. Oh gosh. Oh yes. Big mad. Big bad road has been constructed. Absolutely la poire. Cost Jesus Christ. Money, <laughs> That's quite the road. Um, okay, so. Uh, and yet uh, Canterbury still isn't connected. What the fuck, workers? What have you been doing? God's sake, we need to hire a foreman. A foreman? He needs to come in and sort out the workforce. They're, they're clearly amateurs. <laughs> One doesn't build the longest road first, one builds the shortest roads and uses the income gained from those roads to fund the other one. We don't care. Let's have a world's fair. How about that, eh? Let's have a world's fair. Look at this now. This is what I like to see. Especially with this cannon reinforcement coming in as well. These guys can actually move. Oh, maybe they can set up an attack. They All of these should be in range of that now. They, that Helsinki is dead. It is absolutely dead. There's no way it can survive. Surely not, nope. of course. Surely, Surely not. Gus. Surely. You have no answers you, to this. Unless you've got some right bullshit waiting up your sleeve. And crossbow men is not the bullshit you need waiting up your sleeve. They, they actually ran away. Did they run away? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid, Gus, there's only one way to say it. You've got an arse like a clown's pocket. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Why would you say that about Gus? Because <laughs> it's the truth. It's the absolute truth. Uh, get a bank. Yeah, I don't think we even need more military at this point. We just need money. Money. Massive amounts of money. We've got money mountain. We need to take advantage of money mountain. No, oh, I just give them ranged attack. I didn't mean uh, ranged defense. So, cannons, fire away. Tell me you're in range. Hold on. <laughs> Can you hear him screaming in Helsinki? The sound of victory, that's what it is. Oh, Helsinki, you've been slashed. Absolutely pillage. slashed. Pillage and burn. What's this? The worst attack I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> worst attack known to man incoming. I mean, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? They're not going to do anything. Idiots. <laughs> oh, oh, he's got some more reinforcements up there. Look, not going to help you, Gus. Not going to help you. Wow, that's going to be a danger to Canterbury. The four cannon barrage. <laughs> Helsinki's just been absolutely ruined. <laughs> Goodbye, Helsinki. One final hate crime. Now these guys have got the honour. In you go. Well done, men. Well done, man. Well done. Uh, although it's going to wreck our happiness, but well done, man. Well done. Truly, you are men of honour and worth. Oh dear. The puns. <laughs> the Goodbye. Pun. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, look what's next. Stockholm's next on the fucking warpath. 
Can it be taken though? This is the question. I was like, oh, oh, I thought he built a ship. <laughs> 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 it would have been amazing. Oh. Hmm. We still need to build HMS Victory. We've got to build it. We've got to. We've got no choice. We've got no choice. We've got a lot of minus gold, but then we do have the city. Look at him. He's, he's desperately trying to get back to defend. But look, he's all out of position. And these guys, well, well, these guys, these guys are good at chopping little horses down. Uh, we'll shoot him first, though, in the mouth. <laughs> he's out of position. He's out of ideas. Uh -oh. He's getting punished for it. So now Helsinki is, in fact, the front line of the British Empire. <laughs> Having taken it from Sweden in glorious combat. Glorious combat! I don't think it's we not, need this cannon. We're going to sell it. It's Goodbye. admittedly no longer... Um, the front line is no longer Helm's Deep at the foot of Money Mountain. The fiscal delight that is Money Mountain. <laughs> but, on the other hand, on the other hand... I quite like the fact that we've got Helsinki. What the fuck are these? What are these? <laughs> uh, they have fancy hats, that's all I know. Um, the, the fancy hat brigade. Woo. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> the fancy hat brigade. Oh um, no, the fancy hat the brigade fancy have hat arrived. Brigade. Look out, fancy hats. Oh, guys. Oh, they're fighting the pike men and they wrecked the pike men. Kind of. They're not that good. Some sort of super, super bloody. It is the newspapers. Do Piss off. It is the newspapers that advertise the zoo. That's what he was about to say. So the people can enjoy the silverback raging in its cage, slamming the glass because it shouldn't be locked up, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Should throw the fucking park keeper in with a silverback. What'll happen then? Hey, what will he do? He's got to fight it. Man yeah, yeah. versus ape. Yeah. Just like in the, the olden days. With, uh, you know, back when in the cave period. Cave what, in the time. olden when <laughs> When humanity was regularly fighting silverback apes. <laughs> <laughs> with a club. Nothing but a club. What the hell? <laughs> Proper manly days those were. <laughs> you just had a stick. You had to fight wild animals. We could get economics, I guess. Gives us more gold. Yeah. But the red fort. Twelve defense. <clears throat> we'll get fertilized because it gives us bombs. <laughs> I know this realizes we're not going down HMS victory, which is like a bit of a shame. But I don't think we need it. I mean, we've crushed Gus. Gus is gonna die unless he he does something magical. Oh, we'll build a globe there. Because that is correct, right, and proper. Yep. Oh, we'll shoot these guys in the face as well. There you go. Boyos. Boyo. <laughs> Boyo. <laughs> what is Boyo? The cannons are immense. Cannons are immense, and I mean, Gus is paying the price of not actually bothering to uh, get back in there and get sold. We don't need you idiots anymore. What is this? Go in and fight! Fight! Canterbury still doesn't have a road. This is unacceptable. Stop chucking fiery sticks at people. What is that? It's not a real weapon. I could order a road. If that's what you want. Do it. Order a road. I mean, Canterbury, it's been... Uh, oh, but hang on, the workers are like miles away. Oh no, these workers. Here you go. Here you go, boys. Uh, go to York. And then build a road from your. You get me? We get you, sir! That's what they said to me over the <laughs> radio. The wireless. Today, we are cancelling the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a terrible line. <laughs> oh my god. Right, workers, get over here. Yes, yes, yes. We'll stop build a road to defense. Canterbury. Thank you. But it doesn't matter because it's got cannons. Yeah, it does. I mean, what's he got? What's he got to answer the questions on the battlefield? Nothing. 
absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, he's got a unit there. <laughs> oh well. Uh... Hmm, whatever, we're gonna get flanked by these guys, but I uh, yeah, we gamble and win. Gamble and win. Oh York. Leaning Tower of Pisa. I don't care what it does, but build it. <laughs> build it because we should have all the wonders. It doesn't matter what it does. We need to get this. Look, son, look. It doesn't matter what it does. It's a wonder. Britain I'm a is wonder. home to all of the wonders. So I'm a wonder. <laughs> no matter what it does. Build it. Don't care if it does nothing. Build it. I mean, we're taking hell synced. I think we've got a couple Ooh. of other wonders, haven't we? Ooh. At least I hope we have. Just the Parthenon. Although, like, it, it was there, but it's been... Dis oh, no, there it is, sorry. I thought it was there. I think it was, because the city got destroyed and, and, and went smaller in size. It moves it to the back, maybe. Maybe I'm just off my face. But why would we have moved the whole building? That seems like some sort of program that should be on the Discovery Channel, where we move buildings on lorries or something stupid. <laughs> oh, what? You know, I've just no, no. Because I, I just had a mental idea, but it's, it's, it's too mental. It, it's just stupid. Forget about it. Forget that. When is it ever too mental? Well, I can't. I still want to do the sneak attack on Burke. <laughs> Send the oh, lads up round hell synced. Slam Burke and then approach Stockholm from two sides. But it's a bit. It's a bit mad. It's a bit mad. Unnecessarily complicated, you might say, given that we've got a massive army right on the outskirts of Stockholm anyway. A bit crazy. That's like these guys have overextended, but it's fine. These guys are really solid. I mean, look at them. They're just taking attack after attack off the uh, the cannon, and oh, it's bad news. They've got the mineral. Got the mineral to become number one. Hmm. A lot of our new territory appears to be a burning wasteland. <sighs> This cannon is overly exposed. Get over there. A burning wasteland, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> come on, boys, come on. Cross button. Well done, boys, well done. Did us proud, lads. Did us proud. No, actually, they can pillage the gold house. Ah. Steel technology, yes. Scott has been promoted. Hello. Ah. 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 These guys are dead, so they're just going in for the attack. Yeah, make gotta it go happen. in for the win. You've got to, you, sometimes you just gotta go in for the win. Oh, the artillery could have fired beforehand. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Whatever. <laughs> they were gonna die anyway. Ooh. Promote them to a lancer. Does do? I don't think that heals them though, does it? Let's find out. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit! What? Oh, hang well. on. What are we waiting for here? So we need to kill these guys. We need to kill these guys. We've got two musket men, really, because these guys are dead. Uh, I think we need to restructure. But if we restructure, these guys are probably going to do some damage to our artillery. But we're going to try and do that anyway. Like so, we can hit this from the the south kind of thing. You know, get a good arc. Good surface area. <laughs> Got a solid amount of surface area for the attack. Oh, 
Oh. Ah, oh. Well, it's, <laughs> tempting. it's tempting, Gus, because we could go away and uh, build our military up. I think you're in a bad situation at the moment, Gus. Yeah, I think this is that. Mm. I think it's more for his benefit than ours. Yes, I think it is. Goodbye, Gus. Uh, I refuse. Or. No, I refuse. I was going to ask for cities, but I don't want to see it. Come on, Lancers. Prove that I spent money on you well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think on that note, son, it might be time for a cup of tea. <laughs> is it time for a cup of tea, son? Is it? it it's, it's time. Oh, we'll God. sit back and make a toast to the brave Lancers. <laughs> we'll catch you next time, people. Toodaloo!